Hey guys, so recently I have joined my church's worship band. I'm still figuring things out and how the flute works with the worship band. According to some people at church though, they have been coming up to me and telling me that it does work and they're also not sure why. I believe it was like the first or second time I was playing with the worship band. After I was done the first service, some of the teenagers had put together a string quartet thing for Christmas, you know, cute little Christmas carols and stuff like that. My boyfriend and I went over to listen. While we were there, there was this lady sitting nearby and she suddenly turned to me and said, Oh, you play in the worship band, right? So how long have you been playing the flute? If I were to put it bluntly, I am speaking for myself. I don't know if this applies to the rest of you musicians who are watching this video. The feeling is exactly the same as if someone looked at your boobs and said, Oh, I see you have boobs. So what bra size do you wear? Um, uh, uh. First, I start calculating how many years I have been playing. Now you have to realize that when you are a professional, that you have been playing this instrument for a very long time. And that shouldn't actually be surprising. It's kind of like asking a pro gamer how many years they've been playing video games. So basically, I stand there like an idiot not answering for a couple of seconds, miscalculating it because I'm bad at math. I sort of stutter out like a weird, uh, 13, no, uh, 14, wait, no, 15 years? Yeah. When I hear myself say that, like some obnoxious number, I suddenly start to feel really horrible. Like, oh gosh, now I've made this person feel really terrible because it sounds like I'm bragging, but I'm not bragging. I literally have actually lost count of how many years I've been playing the flute. The second way that I've been answering this highly awkward question is by saying some vague like, oh, a while. To which you get a variety of responses. Oh, don't be shy. How long? You know, or at least you know the approximate number of years that you have been playing the instrument that you play. And you know that you're going to sound obnoxious. You kind of feel like you're being pushed to sound obnoxious. But at the same time, when you're not wanting to answer, that also makes you look obnoxious. It's like you're saying, oh, well. I've been playing the flute for so long that like you don't even know. You cannot comprehend how long I've been playing the flute. Which is not what you want to come across as either. The pressure is freaking real. Another response that you get is, oh, cool. To which now you're like, no, 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 but I, I actually do want you to know that I do play this professionally. Like. I, I am actually a legit musician. And then that also makes you feel obnoxious because you're like, why do I want this person to know that I'm legit? Like, does that even matter? And yeah, so you just kind of end up standing there looking a bit like an awkward idiot. And there is yet another response that I usually get. In fact, I get this most often. Can you play Titanic? If the song that they name is something like Titanic, which is like a completely overly played song, I kind of feel insulted. You really think I can only play that? But on the other hand, if they actually say something like, oh, can you play that Firebird excerpt? See, then I know you know what you're talking about. And that is really intimidating. Why on earth would you randomly ask that? And so I decided to come up with a third response. Oh, too long. I usually get only one of two responses. The first one being complete and utter awkward silence. So you see, now the tables have been turned. Now instead of me being the one being really awkward and stupid, now they feel awkward and weird and stupid. Not that I want to make them feel that way. Now I feel like I've made them feel like crap. So that makes me feel like I'm even more crap. You know, it's bad. What do I do now? I usually end up saying something dumb like, oh, it's just fun, really. Or I'm Asian. Sometimes the ice breaks 
Sometimes it doesn't. When it doesn't, I usually end up standing there like an awkward idiot again. However, the second response that I get is, Ah, oh, cool, so you're pretty passionate about it, huh? Now this is the response that I am actually looking for. Because now I can start telling you about why I picked up the flute. Why am I obsessed with the flute? Why have I been playing it this long? This is why I more often than not choose to say too long just in case I can get this sort of response. Generally, I think a better question would be, so how did you get into the instrument that you play? See, this opens up a really nice personal conversation about your passion. That makes for a much nicer story than just telling them how long you've been playing your instrument. So what do you guys think and what are your experiences with this question? Whether you are the asker or the askee? Hmm, I guess the askee would be the answerer. Yeah, I can English. Please share them in the comments below. I also just wanted to make a quick announcement. Last month, I opened up a new vlog channel called Just Another Vlogist. I'm totally late. I'm such a wonderful friend. If you like vlogs, go ahead and check it out and subscribe. If you don't like vlogs, then you should just pretend that it doesn't exist. And that is it for now. If you want to follow me on my social media, they are down there. Subscribe to catch my next video. Take care and I will see you there. Bye. So recently I have joined my church's... That makes the conversation... I certainly have not covered all of the answers that I give to the...